welcome to Digit and in this video I'm going to show you how to customize the performance on this Dell G15 5510 gaming laptop. Now let me just quickly tell you about the specs of this laptop. This laptop is powered by an Intel Core i5, a 10th generation Intel Core i5 10200H processor and that's paired with an NVIDIA a GTX 1650 graphics card. It has 8 GB of RAM and a 512 GB SSD. So uh, pretty sort of entry level specs that this laptop has and it should give good gaming performance. Uh, now if you want to actually go ahead and tweak the performance of this laptop, what you need to do is down here you need to uh, search for an app called Alienware Command Center. There you go, that's the app. It says Alienware Command Center. There's a little Alienware logo right there. Let's go ahead and open the app. Okay, it's telling me I need to download additional components. I'm not gonna do that right now. I've disconnected from the internet actually just to show you this. So this is the interface of this app. Uh, immediately it opens into the library and this will tell you what all games you have. Uh, there's something called Fusion over here. And this basically gives you an overview of your CPU, uh, GPU and, the, and your memory. So as you can see, it's telling you the temperature in centigrade, the voltage, the usage. So some, it'll give you some vitals basically, your system vitals, it'll tell you right here. Uh, you can go into uh, temperature and you can actually change all the thermal profiles right here. I'll just show you how to do that from another place also. Uh, again, this is power management. You have your different audio profiles which you can tweak over here. So you can turn your audio effects on. You can turn on bass boost, for example. The treble enhancer is on, I can choose to turn that off. Uh, there's something called voice clarity which is on right now if I turn it off. So these are all different settings that uh, you can tweak from your Alienware uh, command center. And of course there are audio profiles here so based on what game you're playing you can actually just go ahead and set it for that. So if you play a shooter for example you can just select shooter and it automatically tweaks the settings. If, you're, if you want to listen to watch a movie you can uh, click movie. Uh, there's something called racing if you're playing racing games you can go here if you want to listen to music. So a lot of interesting things. You can also choose to customize this and create new profiles on your own. So if you're an advanced user and you want to actually create your own custom profiles, you can go ahead and select it from here. Uh, this over here, these are audio recon profiles, okay? So all of these settings can be accessed in this Fusion tab right here. Now, the other thing I want to tell you about is right up over here, as you can see, you can actually ch uh, change the theme setting. So right now, it was on dark earlier, I've switched it to light. I'm gonna switch it back to dark. And what you need to do in order to change your profiles is right on the side of this, there's this little button here. So now this opens up a settings window. As you can see, it says interface. You can change the color of the UI. You can add particle effects right now. Uh, there's something called miscellaneous where you can choose diagnostic data or an API. They're both enabled right now. But where, what we need to do is we need to go into something called profiles. So there's an option called auto profile. Let's see what this does. Enabling this feature allows you to specify the power and thermal profiles that are automatically applied to the, wait one sec. Automatically applied to the new games that you add to the library, all right? Or you can choose your different defaults. So right now it's on quiet. So if I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this on. And now once it's on, I can actually go in here and I can choose different settings. So there's quiet. There's balanced, there's performance, cool, and of course, again, quiet. Now, I want really good performance. It's a gaming laptop, so I want the fans to be ramped up all the way. So I'm gonna select performance. And for power management, I'm gonna go for high performance. So I'm gonna keep it on this profile. And let me see my thermal profile again. I want to select it, I want to set it for performance. My power management, I want high performance. And you can actually go in and tweak different settings. So this is what you need to do if you want to actually go ahead and customize the performance of your Dell G15 laptop. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching, goodbye.